Well, she has been publicly feuding with Mr. Trump for years now, but this time Rosie O'Donnell might have taken it too far. The comedian tweeting this, I fully support imposing martial law, delaying the inauguration until Trump is cleared of all charges. Rosie also called the president-elect mentally ill and a liar. So nice, right, Rob? Mm -hmm. Very interesting. National Guard, but their leader is going to be out of a job the moment that President-elect Donald Trump raises his right hand. Well, the story blew up on social media this afternoon. With eight years under his belt as the commanding officer of D.C.'s National Guard, Major General Errol Schwartz brought experience and gravitas to the task of planning a successful inauguration. If something goes bad, it's up to the law enforcement agency to make the first move, if you will. But unlike in the years since George W. Bush first appointed him, General Schwartz will watch this inauguration conclude from home, stepping down as Donald Trump steps up to take the oath of office at noon. The timing is extremely unusual, General Schwartz told the Washington Post today, adding he would never plan to leave a mission in the middle of a battle. George Soros, front page story in the Wall Street Journal this morning that he lost a billion dollars trying to basically short sell a Trump victory. Yeah, I mean, he, along with some others like Mark Cuban, basically said if Trump wins, it's the end of the world. The market is going to sell off. Billionaire George Soros' fund manages about $30 billion for Soros and his family, but the progressive-leaning Soros took nearly a billion dollars in losses recently thanks to the stock market rally spurred by Donald Trump's surprise presidential election. 